Hi guys. This is the event house with my friend uh Jeffrey and and today I'm gonna show you how to make money in EOC. A good starter 80k. Now as you can see I have zero GP. And we are just going to start. So I'm gonna take my wicked hood. I'm gonna teleport to the nature altars. You can also do the law alter altars, I just like to do the natures. And now we get our pure Okay. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna make all these nature rooms until I have like literally no more um uh nature's left. Or not nature's but um rune essence, there we go. Sorry, my mind is elsewhere. Welcome to my world. <laughs> okay. So now that I am done doing all the uh Oh my god. That essence, is so perfect. I'm going to uh use the little rune thing twice to get a bit more to get like ten extra nature runes. Oops, wrong thing. And then I'm going to sell them. To make like about 20k. And then what you're going to do with this 20k is you're going to go around RuneScape and buy feathers from fishing shops. So now I'm going to go to DE, sell these for about 20k, and then we are going to go buy the feathers. Which in this video I'm going to show you all the feather locations that I know of. Yeah. My friend here has a very, very, very poor stat base. So, um, so I'm teaching him how to make money. I already started, bro. I started like two minutes ago. I made a whopping 18k. Not, not the usual I make. Which is actually gonna be pretty bad for me because things I can only buy like maybe three of the feather places. And then I'll have to sell them and buy more. So the first feather place is Al Red. You can go to you can go to Al Red with me if you want. Okay, uh, I'm gonna teleport there real quick. And then you go to Shanty, and he sells a, a thousand feathers. You need at least six K in order to do in order to do this. So we are just going to go to Shanty and okay, I am at the gym box. You need to go to Shanty. Do you know where he is? No. I don't remember names of NPCs on here. Okay, um I don't for a reason. Oh crap, my my feather thing isn't still full from last time. Oh well, no worries. This still gets you money. It still proves a point. Okay, the next place you're gonna go to is Lumbridge, and you're gonna buy them from the from the fishing shop. I don't know where that is. Good, good, good. You know where that is. Good job. Teleport before you must already go. You do know my my jelly is higher level than or my jelly level is higher than me. Then you're dry. Ah! <laughs> My jelly level is 39. I thought 
a good it does affect your speed now. No, it used to not do. <laughs> Actually, it does. It did, anyways. Yeah, yeah I'm finally caught up. So now you buy your thousand feathers? And that dwindled me down to 9k. So now, I'm sorry guys, I'm eating nice. Um, now, if you have completed the quest, um, uh, Animal Magnetism, you can get a thousand free feathers oh from God, the, from the girl who, um, sells the, uh, backpacks that pick up your arrows. So we are just gonna go over there. I don't think I'm gonna make as much money in this video because I don't have as much resources as I as I do normally. But you do make around like 70k per day. And it's totally free. So yes, this is one of my many money making methods. The remainder of my money making methods are so slow you'd rather kill yourself than do it. Not make a fence. Okay, so now I gotta trade this chick and buy her feathers. And now I need to go sell the feathers to make money. Because I don't have enough for the last stop. You gotta admit, this is this is a pretty good money making method, guy. Because okay, I started out with like 18k from the nature runes, and I am going to make a wicked profit. This is honestly how I make my money. Do this every day, and you will make millions. I'm not joking either. Okay, now I go to an exchange. Sell them, and I just made 36k. Actually, technically, I have like 43k. Now, the last stop. The last stop you're going to go to is Port Serum, and you're going to go to the fishing shop there. While I'm just teaching you all these, all these like feather locations <laughs> that only a no life would know. Okay. And now we're going to do the next step of this whole process, which is buying battle staves. So what you need to do is um it really doesn't matter what you've done in the Varat tasks, however I've I finished the first set, I really do want to do like up to the fourth set. So I can buy like a gajillion battle staffs and like sell them for a crap ton of money in the GE. Um trust me guys, this stuff works. This only gets you from nothing to something. I know it's not a lot, but even with this, you can get somewhere. So, so who you're gonna talk to is Nath. And you're gonna buy as many battle staffs as your money thing will let you. Then you're gonna go to the GE, sell those, come back, and repeat. Until he is out of battle stabs. And well, guys, 
that's my guide, so I'm going to pause it and then I'm going to show you how much money I made. Okay, guys, so this is the profit I made from uh, doing all this. A whopping 73k. Oops. Um, examine. I have made a whopping 7,373k927 coins. Hope you guys like this video and bye.